imagine this. Why would why would God send a prophet who speaks Portuguese to French people? Is he going to be around French people? No, he's only going to be around Portuguese. Okay, you're, you're going to speak yeah. the language of who you hang around. Thank you. Okay, so the same way, all those other social factors are also factored in. If God sends someone to a people who are rebellious, remember, these prophets don't go to like snow bunnies. They go to like very, very ty tyrannical people. Okay. If God wants to send a prophet that is going to be one accepted, Kabul, who's going to be have the ability to fulfill the mission, then he's going to send the best bet because God, unlike some people believe, interacts with the world that we, we exist in, you know, yeah. he interacts. So all the things that are already pre-existing, God will, um, what's it called, make sure that uh, the criteria is met. So when a prophet is sent to the Arabs, he has to speak Arabic. Not only does he have to speak Arabic, he has to come from a, from a lineage that is noble and the reason for that is because there's a verse in the Quran where Lot you know Lot have you heard of Lot yeah Lot he's the, the cousin of Abraham Sodom and Gomorrah so Lot was sent to Sodom and Gomorrah and they were very tyrannical and they did not respect him in fact there's loads of prophets who are not respected then Lot cries out to God and says oh yeah God if I only had a band if I only had a tribe behind me to fulfill this mission and a lot of the, the scholars say that after that statement, God made sure that any prophet that comes after him has to come from a lineage that is strong enough to support the initial stages of, of a prophet. Of a pro okay, but yeah. the initial stages, what, what, what prevents, let's say, uh, let's say a, a woman from being able to influence someone to be able to speak the word yeah. of the God? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 If you go to a construction site now, yeah. in London, in this yeah. part of the world, yeah. How many women you will see in, that in the construction site? No. It comes with a responsibility. Most of the prophets that we know about from Islam religion had the responsibility and wasn't accepted from the first instance. Yeah. And they have to face a lot and a lot of challenges. And some of it, not some of it, most of it is physical as well as emotional. So it, until now, we have as a man a tendency to to. Uh, we built different. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. to carry this responsibility, I think this is a very, very big point by using, and you have to put uh, as well on the same context that it's thousands of years, years ago, thousand four hundred yeah. years. So also the society did not develop as it is now. Yeah, but like so, it's, it's yeah. all the same. You know, now is the same as fourteen hundred. But is it really? Yeah, we are the same human, same but human woman, tendencies. Yeah. No, but society. Man, society. We all, we all no, are but, driven by the same things. You no, know? no, but. In this country, yeah. hundred years ago, females weren't able to vote. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what I mean by society. Okay. There are certain societal constraints because That's prophets. No, because prophets are human beings. They're not angels. Okay. So they're still constrained by by the, the, by the environment they're in. So okay. God, therefore, some scholars say that God made sure to send man because thousand years ago you wouldn't have 20 women warriors taking over the world it, 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 it the, the likelihood was it would it, it tend to be men so yeah so and so that's where this it was rooted in god is saying the, the influence that you can put across to the world is your ability to physically handle the, the elements that come that come towards contextualized you. all of this Everything you said, now contextualize this. Yeah. Contextualize this to, real world, to the real world. Not the idealistic world, because you're talking about an ideal world. In an ideal world, it shouldn't matter what your gender is. You should be able to influence, right? But I'm talking about realism here. This is real. Human beings in actual historical events. If you approach a pharaoh a thousand years ago and say, pharaoh, free my people, they're going to take you and they're going to crucify you if you were a female. In this, in this continent, two, three hundred years ago, they were burning females alive, accusing them of being witches. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Right? That's the point I'm trying to make. I, I, so when God I, I think sent... We're trying, okay, okay, we're trying to skip. Basically, does, does the fact that we, because yeah. we're males, we're more physically yeah. able to, to handle things? Is that physical? If you go to, for example, emotional strength. Also, yeah. emotional strength. Okay. So, if you go to the top 100 companies here in the yeah. UK and see yeah. who's yeah. the CEOs yeah. Yeah. running this, no, it's, men. it's not purely because of racial no, I, or, or, or no, discrimination. That's, that's fine. It's because of the tendency 
for this man to go forget about his family, forget yeah. about his motion, yeah. he doesn't have to suffer emotionally from physical things that have okay. he can carry on more likely than the woman. That doesn't mean that all women are excluded, but it's most likely with men, women that they will take this responsibility and succeed with it. And as we believe, God knows better, then he choose in accordance to this. Okay. And despite okay. of that, there are females who have very, very important roles in all of this. Okay. Well, yeah. That's what combating what you were saying. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But, but then, but, yeah. but then, can you, can can yeah. God not talk through? The, the, woman, the woman's soul to be able to yeah. be able to communicate to, to yeah. whatever male yeah. uh, predominance that are around them and to the society. But it happens. Them. It does happen. Okay. It, does, it, it, does, it does happen. And there is example. Yeah. Even in the Christian world, you have what is the lady? The name of the lady in no Europe crying. here. She's a, a saint, saint, and she was doing well. She passed away less than ten years ago. Uh, I forget the name of her. Mother Teresa. Yeah, yeah, Mother Teresa. Yeah. If God well is against women, this woman would not be achieving this yeah. this high position in the Christian. So there is an example, factor of example, that women can be reaching that high level. But specifically being a prophet yeah. is not easy mission. For example, even we as Muslims, we believe that Muhammad, is upon him, had struggles uh, 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 physical and emotional from his own family. He was uh, uh, thrown out of his own city. He was uh, uh, fleeing in the night without anybody seeing him. In one of in a, one of the Maraka, uh, uh, yeah. uh, one of the wars, yeah. he, he broke his jaw and his his teeth. So he struggled. Physically. Yes, there's struggle so involved in this. God, yeah. Also, as a protection for this precious. A being, yeah. which is woman, saving her from getting a yeah. It's a bit like this, it's a bit like in war, right? Think about this, right? Why is it, if we're so equal, why is it that predominantly, that until this day, there have been inclusions of females in, into the army, which I welcome, but why is it that they're predominantly male go to war? You don't have to try and explain this to me. No, 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 but I, I'm trying to make you understand that the mission, the prophet is a title, okay? Yeah. It's a title and the title comes with particular elements that in order to uphold it, there has, has to be certain characteristics that you have from the get-go. And a prophet is judged by how successful he is. Meaning, how much can he, uh, how much can he, the ability to influence and, uh, what's it called, carry on the message, right? As far as possible, right? So, if you, if you, if you, if you wanted to, uh, what's it called, build or, I don't know, I can't think of an example, yeah? But anything to be able, yeah, yeah, no, listen, you, I, 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 yeah, I get that. Okay. So why, why is it that Muhammad's, Muhammad's word, why is it that Muhammad's word goes above all of the other um, sacred words that have come, that have come before? Okay, that's a different conversation, yeah. Yeah, this one. Oh, different okay. Yeah. Different yeah. conversation. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's actually, yeah. You will find it a lot of places in the Quran that says that confirms that yeah. these religions is the true religions came from God, but it have. Uh, uh, it, it was monotheistic religions, those that come from Christianity, Judaism. Yes. Yeah? What about uh, something like uh, that come from the Vedas, like 4,000 years ago? But that's the thing. We have a belief. We have a belief that there were over hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of prophets. But we don't know. We don't know about. So the, the prophets that we mention are just the mentions, the ones that are mentioned. However, there's thousands of thousands, of hundreds of ones that we don't even know. Yes. Okay. Which it, it's left for the human beings yeah. to. I mean, there is no harm. I, I just wrote a book that says, from a Muslim scholar, who says that he thinks that Confucius might be. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. He thinks that. Same people. I, I take this as is a good probability. Because yeah. He was Same with Buddha. Okay. okay yeah. real. Same with Buddha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Realism. What? Prophet in the sense of an Abrahamic prophet. No, no, no. Because the teachings. Meaning here, someone who is sent 
to profess but, but truth. if the message though was that if you're saying a prophet was always the message that there is one God yeah then yeah. that's contradictory because Why? we have a pretty clear teaching of what the teachings were from Buddha and what? also from the Vedas but it's not, not very clear because you know it is clear because the Guru Parampara the oral traditions of the East is pretty reliable if you but, actually look okay then again let me ask you this question the same thing I, the same question I asked the Baba over there and we humans are bound by this thing called interpretation. Why is it then that there are different types of Buddhism to this day? Well, you have to look into what the actual differences are. But all forms of Buddhism agree on no self. And no, no, but there are no, no self yeah. and no God. But no, 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 no. There are self. God in the form of a deity. No. Yeah. And you, okay, you that's, know that. okay, that's different. But there are forms of Buddhism, like Zen Buddhism, Zen, Zen Buddhism, okay. that talks about nothingness. Yeah, okay. yeah. And when you and when you, and I, I watched the video myself and I've read, I read, I read, I read upon this that some Zen Buddhists yeah. say that that could be referring to a deity. The nothingness, the undescribable right, thing. Right, right. So the problem is that it's impersonal it's nature. No, no. The but, problem is though that it's impersonal in nature. It didn't come with revelation. Okay. As the okay. Say so but we're talking about very general, broad understanding of what it means. That when we said that, but it's not. But if a Muslim claims that, that, that the prophets had the message of one God, who is a person who had a will and he was a creator, right. then we're have from we running have the, the nothing, the, the void. It's very different. Yeah, definitely. Yes. But Again, you have to take a step it's your, your interpretation. But it's also experiential as well. I understand, but I'm just saying to you that you will find Zen monks who disagree with you and would say what I just said to you. So the point I'm trying to make, the question you asked, it's not that the prophet's word is over any other word. It's just that the prophet's word is the finality of all the words being said before. The finality. Finality. Every time a prophet comes. No, finality because of the time that we're in. We 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 are on the eschat eschaton period, meaning that we are about to approach the day of judgment. Judgment is coming. But isn't isn't that isn't that continuous? Isn't the the day of coming continuous? As in, it, it, it is always to come. At, at any one point in time, the day will come of judgment. It will come, yes. You know, it, it yeah. will come for every single one of us. We are yeah. we are all at the point of coming to that yes, judgment. Yes, correct. That's, that has been for yeah, thousands correct. of years. Cro you know? scholars, some scholars say that when you die, your judgment begins. Yeah, that's the hereafter. It's yeah. the yeah. beginning yeah. of the yeah. hereafter. Yeah. Yeah. However, there is this day called the day of judgment. Dogmatically, it's not. That's my point here. That dogmatically, it's not. What, what do you mean? That the... the what, what you were saying and the prophets as well in, in the form of dogmatics it's very different like the, the, the morals that come with this like the, the morals of Islam is very different than the morals of the Vedas no yeah. not, not entirely I'm sorry to say that I'm let's, sorry let's, let's, I'm sorry get, let's get into that let's get into yeah. that what? Like, what, what would be the, what would what's be the difference in that single well, difference well first of all remember we talk about fundamentals not the details and all the but intricacies that, that's, that's important to a society no but then you bro you can talk to a Muslim and another Muslim and they will have Issues. No, no, you can't. No, no, because you what? have, for example, what? that women should wear the burqa according to, to Allah, right? Yeah. That's not in the Vedas. Burqa? Or, or, or covering. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's not in the Vedas. Yeah, but that's the detail. I'm seeing the fundamentals. Oh, the that's fundamentals. pretty fundamental if God ordained it on humanity. No, no, it's not. It's a detail. Because the burqa, for some Muslims say you should wear the burqa. For some people, you go to the Muslim world, you see them. Not everyone wears burqa. No, I'm not saying it's mandatory. And, and you're gonna go to hellfire if you don't wear it. It's a woman's choice, I know, I understand that. With, with all due respect, yeah. Burqa did not mentioned in the Quran at all. Once. No, yeah. that's not, not, not the burqa, but the, the, the covering is mentioned the, in the, the Quran. The covering of the hair. Burqa is different. Okay, well, let's the take that for example. Yeah. That's for example, let's that is this. not in the Vedas. But are you, are you going to reduce eons of millennials no, 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 of, of God speaking to human beings to like these small details? No, because but that's the finalized version. No, but the finalized version meaning that people who don't wear hijab and die, does that mean they're going to go... No, that's no. not my point. Yeah. My, my point is, yeah. is that if God, then, then clearly God's message has been changed over No, no, no. That, that what, no. What he ordered, if the Our interpretation of, of God's message is... There are hierarchies, there's hierarchies, and you, you mentioned dogma. There are hierarchies in that. Of course, there's okay. hierarchies in everything. Okay, there's the, and I'm talking short, um, solely of the most important things 
okay, that let's each take religion, story, for example. that each religion talks about, or the majority of religion talks about, right. is the transformation of okay. the being of called the being. human, okay. and meeting that human being. Elevating that human being to the closest position to God. That's what. That's yeah. That's yeah. So let's line. let's tackle the fundamentals. Thing. Yeah. So let's take. Create, would you consider the creation story as a fundamental to 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 the message of God over time? Yeah, because it goes back to God as Him being the creator. So if we take the tradition of Advaita Vedanta, yeah. you know about it. Right? Yeah. There's no creation story. Okay. Right. And yeah. the Guru Paramparam, which is the oral tradition, which goes to, to Guru and disciple, Guru and disciple, Guru and disciple. Yeah. Yeah. For since the time of the Vedas, let's say, for, they, as we know, 4000 BC, but in my yeah. opinion, it's much before that. Yeah, the Indus Valley River. There is no the creation story that came out of, out of the Puranas, which is the stories of the Hindus, is to say that 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 Vishnu was lying on an ocean, yeah. and then Brahma came out of his navel, yeah. and then Brahma created. Yeah. So it's not even the, the ultimate being that created the story. Yeah. So if that's a fundamental thing, and let's yeah. just say yeah. that we have the that's the proper translation, yeah. that's what we know. Yeah. Then the fundamentals are. I'm not a perennialist. I don't believe that all religions are the same. That's not what I'm trying to say. No, I, I'm not either. Yeah. That's my, actually my but point. But remember what you were saying. He was saying, why is the, the word of the prophet over all the ones? And then the Bhagavad said so like, he said, it's not. It's just that the prophet is confirming that which came before. And it confirms the most important things. Because if he is the final prophet, he's only going to focus on the most important things. That influences us human yeah. to be able to get right, us to but that's my point though. Let's just say if there were prophets in every tradition in all time. Yeah. Then clearly, and I don't think it, that's my point. It's not an interpretation yeah. thing. That it was yeah. the message from the prophets that were not adding up. Then the, the, the last message of Prophet Muhammad to yeah. me yeah. is not it's not connecting to the the so-called prophets from the east. My bro, you know you're talking about something that's so so complex. I know. You're talking about but, history, bro. We, know, it's, like it's if you were to leave buildings here, they say if you were to leave buildings here within two hundred, three hundred years, it would be gone. Yeah. The last thing that would be um, existing would be like kerosene. But some traditions did live. No, no. The point I'm trying to say is that we're talking here about the unknown, really. Okay. We can. We can't really comment on this too much. But we can't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Because you're trying to figure out, the only thing that you can figure out is patterns. You're not going to go into the details here. You know. Patterns is what I'm kind of pointing out. Yeah, but what the is the East pattern? Has, the, the East has grown into such a different thing because of the patterns of tradition. I've read into Eastern religions. Yeah. Granted, with a bias, because I'm a yeah, Muslim, but I, was, but, but I was able to find the same things I find in Islam. In For example, well. Buddhism. You want to talk about fundamentals. Fasting. Fasting. Refugee. Seeking re refuge. Yeah. It's a big, big thing in Buddhism. Are you, are you talking about mo mo like monastic life? Is that what you mean? Yeah, seeking refuge. It's a practice to uh, seek. Not monastic. No, no. no. Seeking protection. No, no, no. I'm talking from the Buddhism perspective. Yeah, no, no. But yeah. he thought it means. Uh, what, what do you mean by. No, by no he thought monasticism. What do you mean by refuge in the Buddhism? Seeking refuge is a practice that Zen Buddhists practice. Monastic refuge. No. No, just, no. No. Just refuge. seeking. It's just a practice. Refuge. Yeah, it's a practice. It's a practice, right? Seeking refuge in Islam, in in in, in the Christianity, yeah. in Judaism, it's major. It's a major thing to do as well. So that's the fundamental there, if you want. Right. And there's more of that I, I yeah. found myself. And let alone the description of like the Zen Buddhists describing nothingness. I was like, whoa, that seems like they're describing and the you ultimate. Know that, you know that was my whole point of view. Uh, yeah. Last, you know that's yeah. my view as well. Yeah. The, the void. And yeah. Nothing. Yeah. But the, there's also fundamentals which don't add up. That's my point. What, what are these fundamentals? Yeah. Like I said, moral views in one. Yeah. Which grew up to be cultural differences over time. The eight path. So see, the eight path. Uh, uh, eight path uh, way, right? Eight path way. What do you mean? Yeah. The what's it called? No, no, is, is, is do no harm? Is that, is that part yeah. of the Quran? Of course, do of no course. Harm. The eight path, the fold way. What's that? Called? Oh, oh, the eight, the eightfold path. For okay, for yeah. example, yeah. the eightfold path yeah. is a very fundamental. Path yeah. For reaching something called yeah. Nirvana. Yeah. Okay. Are Which you, you would? No. Yeah. So, no. can we can it's we fundamentally can we get, can we go through the eight? Yes. Okay. okay. Let's go, let's go through the eight fundamentals. Okay. Let's go. Through. Yeah. 
So, if, if, okay, so let's, let's just, actually, let's go to the four noble trees. Between the the four noble trees. Let's do the four. And being able, and being able to figure out what is the, yeah. the, the, the most truest principle. Look, yeah, like we're, look, we're tackling like, the fundamentals between yeah. East and West. Season. Yeah, so because look, we go, we're doing this right now. Four noble trees, four noble trees. Mage and Buddhism. To find commonality. Yeah. yeah. So this is what Allah says in the Quran. Allah, even when we speak to the Jews and Christians, yes. Allah says in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 64, sure. Allah says, Say all people of the book, referring to Jews and Christians. Come to common terms as between us and you. So even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us Muslims, yeah. let's to come to commonalities yeah. with the Jews and the Christians. Yeah. And the fundamental principle, this is what you were talking about, is the oneness of God. Allah na'bud in Allah, that we worship none but one Almighty God. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to you. Yeah, because no, we're talking fine. about Buddhism sorry, right now. Fine. But can we do the four now, noble you're trees? You're talking about the moral injunctions, right? Not you're only. I know, I know. Not you're only. talking about the burqa, you're talking no, about... So what I, my point right. here is, we're trying to tackle the fundamentals, yeah. which, is, which is common, right? Which is important. But when we do this, we also no, have is, to... We disagree with that. With what? What do we disagree with? We say the fundamental core belief is the oneness of God. So isn't that important you know? to point out? Yeah, but, you, but then we also have to see if we see the commonality in that in the east and west. That's exactly the point. Right. So, so then, can I, yeah. Go. Then we also have to take a look at the differences because then why are there differences? Not minor differences. Yeah. We're talking about paganism. Yeah, exactly. We're talking about worshiping exactly. of deities. Exactly. How did that happen? If we yeah. all know that yeah. there is one God. So what's yeah. your standard? And, and because our standard. Okay, I, I will get there. I will get this. Why yeah. there's a discussion, right? Yeah. We can talk about why the Hindus started worshiping. There's a yeah. whole explanation for yeah. that. Yeah. Although they're actually a monist religion. Hindus are monists. They believe in one reality, one yeah. ultimate reality. Yeah. But they ended up worshiping 33 billion gods. But that's the happen? point I was trying to make that's with the you. That's he was making. With the passage of time. People yeah. get distracted. Things exactly. start to, oh, yeah. 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 But if you go to the four noble truths, yeah. let's go through them. Right. So, so this what is, is what the Buddha said. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so the first truth is the truth of suffering. Okay. That there is suffering. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I don't think any of us disagree with yeah. that. No matter how you define suffering. Yeah. And then the second is that there's a truth to the cause of suffering. Yeah. There's a cause Suffering. Yeah. And then there's a truth to the end of suffering. Yeah. So then, so he takes it like a doctor that there is a problem. Yeah. There's a start of the problem and there's an end of the problem. Yeah. And then the fourth is that there's a path to end the suffering. Okay. So, so let's take a look at the path. Okay. So now let's, let's stick with this. One. Yeah. So everything you said, yeah. that's a fundamental. Yeah. How is that fundamentally Wait, wrong from the Quran? <laughs> I think the Quran so, is more of a. So okay, I, I I would say that this is. This is contradictory to, to Abraham. Right? How? Because oh, his whole life was about, because, was about suffering. Well, the truth of suffering, for one. Yeah. Well, how would you? Let me give Abraham, you an example. Yeah. Let me yeah, give you an exactly. example. The prophet says, and amongst the prophet, there is no one has suffered more than I have. Okay. Suffering. Wait, who said this? The prophet Muhammad. Okay. Suffering infused in the mission. This is what we were trying to ex explain. That. In order to be a prophet, there are particular characteristics you have to have, and one of them is to accept suffering. And suffer will occur on your mission. The, the next one. But this is talking about all of humanity. No, but, but yeah, of course. We have it in yeah. Quran. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, okay, let's, yeah. let's take a look at what does this mean. That, that means we created we, we humans. Okay, in so, yeah, in suffering, I, yeah, in pain. In, yeah, in, in, pain. Con in contrast, let's just say, okay, the truth of suffering, that there's suffering, we agree on that. Yeah. Abraham religious also believe this. Because obviously, there is, God has, has given you free will that yeah. comes with suffering. Yeah. That's fine, I yeah. agree with that. But the truth of the cause of suffering, I think there's differences in it. It's in the Quran as well. But the Quran no, no, is what? But, 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 but what is? But what is? I don't, I don't see what he's trying to establish no, here. I think is we. For the truth? No, no, I've, no, no. We have a good conversation. We have a good conversation. You, you will see. Yeah. What is okay. the cause of suffering? And what does Buddha it's in Quran. say? It's in the Quran. What, what does he say? Ignorance. 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 Well, no, it's the same thing. Well, lie is the same thing in the Quran. How? The, this I'm trying to say. I was trying to say to you. The, that's right, that's the reason. The, point I'm th how, the reason. The, the reason why. The reason why human beings suffer is because they're disconnected to God. Being disconnected to God is what? It's, it's the highest form of ignorance. I, I, I agree, but then we yeah. have to define what are you actually connecting to what? in an actual... You, you may say, okay, yeah. you're disconnected from God. Yeah. Okay, that's the cause of suffering. Right? Yeah. But in the East, we wouldn't say you're disconnected to any form of deity. You're, no, of you're, course. you're disconnected of to course. your true being. But that, uh, no, that's but, a 
it's no, different. No, no, but hold on. That would kind of be shirk. But in, no, no. Allah ways. says no Quran. If you, you no, I'm hold on, hold on, that, hold on. Right? Allah says no Quran. If yeah. you get, if you forget Allah, you forget yourself. Yeah. So it's the same thing, my brother. It's not. I, I, well, I think everyone agrees well, that why, it is the same should, thing. Why should Buddhism be our standard? Our standard is no, the Quran. That's not, that's not what no, I'm that's not what we're trying to do. No, no, no. But you have to understand what's his objective. I don't. I don't. He knows that. my objective. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, do, okay. The, do you be Buddhist? Okay, let me, let me make is Buddhism clear. a religion? Do they believe in God? Well, what, what do you mean by religion? A way of life? Like a, they believe in a theistic... Uh, uh, Define theism. Theism. A personal God. No. 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 Are they the philosophy? void is not... The is void? it philosophy? Sorry? Is, is Buddhism a philosophy? You can say it's a philosophy. It's a, fr it's a framework. I think it's I mean, a framework to be able to find okay, what is okay, true. Okay, I'll tell you what Buddhism is. A Buddhism... No, no, why do you care about Buddhism? No, it, it, I'm, we're... Okay. I think it's the most okay, fundamental. Look, okay. What he's saying that there is a very, and I agree. Yeah. I, I actually agree with you, yeah. right? Because I'm actually very, I connect the two in, in very beautiful ways. Right? Yeah. But from your side, yeah. from the majority of Abrahamic religions, yeah. there is no connection. There is no. no actually, Islam has no problem with that. I'll tell you why. You, you know what I'm I, trying I, I, to I'll say. I'll tell you why. Right? Because, can I, because can I if I were I think to you're taking out, the conversation let, out, so Habibi. Well, we can have this. No, no, because if I were to. You have to understand what's his No, but I've talked to him many meditation. times. I know what he's saying. If I go into very deep meditation and I come out with yeah. a revelation. Yeah. And I, co and I come to Abraham, I come to speak his corner, I tell, him, I tell everyone, yeah. right? That I found God and I am it. Yeah, but the subject right? But mind subjective. you, mind you, mind you, look, mind right? you, mind you. We were talking about the course and I, 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 I recommend you to stick to the course. Whilst we were all going through the course of Buddhism, I was able to show you that the Quran fundamentally agrees with that stuff and uh, there, that's common that's commonalities there's commonality but there are now differences. now we know that there are differences yeah that's why i'm not a buddhist exactly right i'm a muslim yeah, of course. but the point i was making and again going back to what's the name charlie. yeah. charlie's point was is the word of the prophet above all other words and the point you're trying to say is this is the wrong way of understanding this the prophet is the finality of a long line of, of messaging Correct. many prophets we don't even know by name Correct. that's the point and, and the point but, and then he was talking about morality yeah this is why the answer is there is a commonality yeah. when it comes to morality yeah but on Definitely the belief command, yeah. in the belief i've not been saying there's no commonality God himself, actually, there is a big difference there's a difference so why is it yeah. why is it different so but why is it, let's say one more truth yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, that's let's an it now you can question let's take the let's take actually not even the the fourth truth, yeah. which is actually the eightfold path. Which except yeah. there won't be any difference. There won't be any difference. The, the third exactly. truth is the end of suffering. Yeah. 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 So the end of suffering for Buddha is Nirvana, yeah. where there is absolutely no suffering yeah. at all. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. How would you say there's commonality? I mean, Why you're alive here as a human yeah. being, not after death, yeah. not as yeah. something yeah. to just there's, there's a very famous verse Muslims like to love to quote. It says, after hardship, there comes ease. But what is this ease? It's very important. Meaning, after suffering, there comes ease. But it's not even but in what the is suffering. This it's not even in the suffering. It's in the, it's in the, the acceptance of suffering. And yes, of course. You have to accept it first. You have to accept it first. Abrahamic religious do actually. You have to accept it, but uh, God promises you, says, look, if you remain patient, that's another thing that Buddha talks about. If you remain patient in the pain and you trust, ease will come. Yes, but it's not just trust though. It's deep meditation and looking into I know, but deep meditation is our prayer. Deep meditation is our uh, um, fasting. Deep meditation is our I, I given out. You know, you know, you know, you, you, you know where I'm going at, and I know you know. Exactly. No. There is a this important to point out, especially in today's age. Everything I said to you, I'm not trying to squeeze it in. It's very easy for me to be like, oh yeah, that's something in the Quran as well. I know. But I want to make this clear. Again, I'm not a perennialist. I don't believe all religions are the same no, because they're not. Neither do I. They're not. They're neither not. do I. I want to know that. Because in the details, there are differences. Yeah, I believe exactly. in a personal God. I believe that God speaks to human. I believe that God sends sal uh, blessings and all that stuff. He is in charge of everything. And I would argue, I would argue that if you were to go back to most religions and you investigate, the origins of those beliefs, you will find something very similar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Even Islam agrees with that. Nation, a prophet. Yeah, I know, listen.